courtroom is a serious place, and it can be hard to know how to act when you're there. If you need to go to court, being prepared can make things a lot less confusing or scary. Going to court is an important event, so you need to treat the process and the people in court with respect. Being ready for court is a very smart thing to think about. If you watched our previous video, you know that for cases involving kids, there are usually three times you need to go to court. The arraignment, the trial, and the dispositional hearing. This video is about what you need to do before going to court and how to behave when you're there. Remember, it's okay to be nervous. Most people are. Your attorney can help you through the process and answer any questions. The tips I'm going to share will help you feel ready and less nervous. Sound good? Great, let's get started. It's really important to be on time for your hearing. Try to visit the courthouse a few days before your hearing so you know your way around and can avoid any surprises that would make you late. Here's what you can do before your court date to be prepared. If you're driving, find a place to park that's close to the courthouse. Walk from your car or the bus stop to the courthouse. Know how long it takes to get there. If possible, go inside the courthouse and find the room where your hearing will be held so you know exactly where it is. Make sure you know how long it takes to get to the courthouse and arrive in your courtroom. Give yourself extra time on the day of your hearing so you're there on time. On the day of your court hearing, you need to dress in a way that's suitable for court. Be sure that you wear a clean, neat outfit. Choose clothes that you might wear to an important family event, such as a wedding or to your place of worship, for example. Long pants, modest skirts, and shirts with no words or pictures are all good choices. People in court are expected to follow certain rules and act in a mature way. On the day of your hearings, keep these things in mind. The noise from cell phones is distracting to the judge and other people in the courtroom. So turn off your cell phone when you enter. If you like to chew gum, be sure to throw your gum away before your hearing. Eat before or after your hearing. It's not appropriate to eat in a courtroom, so make sure you're not hungry. Making a good impression on the judge and others in the court lets them see that you understand how important your hearing is. Here are a few things to keep in mind. Bring a book or magazine to keep you occupied until your hearing starts. Courtrooms are often busy, so your hearing may start later than scheduled. For some people, it can be hard to make eye contact. If someone speaks to you in the courtroom, do your best to look at them and listen to what they're saying. Try to be still and stay in your seat during your hearing. It shows that you're paying attention and being considerate to others. In some parts of a hearing, you may be asked to answer questions. If your attorney thinks that's necessary, he or she should help you to prepare. Ask to practice ahead of time when you're at your hearing. Remember, the judge wants to hear both sides and will give each side a chance to talk. So wait until it's your turn to speak. If the judge asks you to speak, be sure to speak clearly and slowly. Your attorney will do most of the talking for you, but you may have to answer some questions. Talk with your attorney about whether you should tell your story. If your attorney wants you to tell your story in court, make sure that you and your attorney meet before the hearing to prepare so your attorney can help you to know what to say. As mentioned earlier, you wanna make a good impression on the judge. Sometimes you may hear something that doesn't seem right or fair, but you'll show maturity if you stay calm and answer questions politely. Ask questions at the right time. It's okay if you have questions or need more explanation about the words being used or what's happening in the courtroom. If you're confused or think it's important to ask your attorney a question during a hearing, quietly let your attorney know or pass him or her a note. If the judge asks you if you understand what's going on, make sure that you tell the judge if you do not understand. It's okay to ask questions then too. 
You can also talk to your attorney before or after a hearing. It's not unusual to feel anxious or upset during a court hearing. So before your hearing, it's a really good idea to think of something that might calm you if you start to feel this way. You might bring a special small object with you that you can hold during the hearing. Ask your attorney or court personnel if it's okay to bring this object into the courtroom. You wanna be sure it's allowed. If it's not, try to have another idea in mind. Another idea is to bring a picture of something that makes you feel calm and look at it when you need to. You can keep it in your pocket. If you feel like you need a break, tell your attorney. He or she will know when the time is right or be able to request a break for you. If you sometimes have trouble telling people that you need to take a break, you can make a different plan before you go into the courtroom. For example, you could have a card to show your attorney, the judge, or court personnel saying that you need a break or are feeling anxious. Once you tell someone, the judge may give you some time to relax, collect your thoughts, or talk with your attorney. Being prepared for court hearings is important because the decision about your case can have a big effect on you and your life. But if you understand your rights and the court process, and you act with courtesy and respect, you're more likely to have an experience that you understand. Thanks for watching.